Okay, lower your volume, guys. Hey guys, welcome back. My earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Know that roles can be reversed if I say it's you for your person. And tarot is for entertainment purposes, also to give you some clarity to your situation. All right, so earth sign, what's coming up in the next week or so? Um, so the 10 of wands, the 10 of wands, was showing face uh, when I was getting ready for you to read. So, you know, you, you, earth signs may ta take um, responsibility of a lot of things. You might uh, be worrying about a lot of things. You might have a lot of things to do, or you may just take the responsibility of other people onto you. We're gonna see what it's about. Earth signs, what's coming in for love in the next week or so. What's going on here, Earth signs? What's up? Okay, so it looks like your Earth signs are like feeling really sad in your energy. Are you sad? Are you getting discouraged? You're dealing with some heartbreak. Um, you may feel like people just don't, they just don't show up for you. They just don't put the effort into you the way that you put the effort into them. And I think you guys are really sitting in this, like, fuck, I give a lot to people, but everybody keeps keeps me in lack. Uh, everybody puts their hand out uh, when they want something, when they need something, uh, but nobody wants to repay the piper. So I feel like you guys are really sitting in this, this lack energy and feeling that people are just not doing you right. They're just not doing you right. So you're coming out of the illusions about certain people, how certain people are just here to take from you and not reciprocate your energy. Okay, so I'm sorry for the interruption, but my phone overheated. Uh, so... You guys may be just so overwhelmed uh, in, in this energy. Like, I think you may be getting angry and you may be getting fed up with these people that just don't know how to reciprocate your energy and put in the effort into you. So you're trying to figure out like why are why are people unable to to prioritize me? Why are people not able to um, treat me the way that I treat them? All right, so low battery. So you're getting I don't know what's going on, guys. You guys are getting like discouraged and fed up and you're being depleted by the people that are around you. The bottom line, you're being depleted and uh, you may be getting into heated discussions with people because my phone overheated when it's just, you know, I'm recording and it's plugged in. It doesn't make sense. So things are just not making sense to you, I feel like right now. Somebody, something may have happened on January 19th. All right, so a lot of communication. You may have a lot to say to these people. Um, you may be, you know, praying a lot, asking universe to show you the right, the right direction, where you're needing to go. I think there's somebody here stalking you also that possibly hurt you, that backstabbed you in the past. They're watching you. All right. So three of uh, five of pentacles. What's up? All right. 
So making a judgment call. There's a judgment call being made here um, to no longer leap towards people that could give two fucks. So you're understanding that the people that have surrounded you really aren't your soul people. These people make you feel very uneasy in their energy. They don't allow you to rest. They look to hurt you. They don't show up for you. Uh, they pretend uh, to be for you. Uh, meanwhile, they are cutting you down in the background and causing heartbreak to you. Page of Swords. Who's this person that's uh, stalking you? So right now you're not comfortable with these people. You're not rested. You are not rested. King of Swords. And that's why you're going cold and aloof and you're, you're cutting people off. You're speaking your motherfucking truth. You're being honest. And uh, you're being very clear cut with the judgment call that you're making with the Ace of Swords. You're speaking your truth. You're seeing... You're being as honest as you can be with yourself and your people. So right now you feel that you keep putting out energy to satisfy other people, maybe towards a Leo. You're gaining up that strength here to communicate your needs and wants and communicate, you know, your truth uh, to people. All right. So you're taking a lot of action towards your passion. You're becoming very passionate about what you need. And uh, you're coming up as this king of, king of uh, wands. King of wands, they, they're very dedicated. Uh, once they figure out where they're needing to go, they're dedicated to go after it and uh, get it. You're getting balance and things are becoming justified here. You could have a Libra Gemini Aquarius stalking you that's wanting to balance something with you. Libra energy. You're going to start feeling more, uh, once you express to these people places and things that you're not satisfied with the engagement that you have with them, you're going to start feeling very smug in your energy. Uh, you're having, uh, you're just, just sitting back and you're having a good old time by yourself uh, and with the people that actually do show up for you. All right, so truth is being spoken, judgment call. What is this truth being spoken about the Ten of Cups? Wish fulfillment. You're telling people, all right, this is what I need for you to stay in my energy field. If you can't do that, then you have to go. No hard feelings, you have to go. All right, so the Ten of Cups, so you're speaking about what you want. Your wish fulfillment, strength card again, Leo energy is heavy here um, with the two of cups. Okay, so there may be a Leo here that's in love with you, that has a lot of emotions, a lot of care and concern for you. They see that you're very, very strong in your energy or this could be a cancer. This person looks like they're leaping into you. This person may have had you as an option with the Seven of Cups. They may be re uh, releasing options to come towards you with a lighthearted energy to be playful with you, joke around with you. Uh, this person has a very strong exterior, but they're a little sensitive on the inside. So this is looking really good. It looks like you're going towards a love connection. There's telepathy with this person. Somebody wants to take you out for drinks and have a good time with you. They want to, you know, balance things. They see you as wish fulfillment. They're wanting to make this connection uh, strong. Now, if you are dealing with a fire sign, with all the wrenches that have been going on in this read, the fire sign read was having the same dilemma. So some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign. It doesn't have to be, but go, go watch that read if this uh, resonates with you, if you're dealing with a fire sign. Now this person comes in to balance it. It's very similar, this one. See, they're, they're manifesting you. They're just calculating what they have to do to come to you. They're watching. Let's see. Oh my goodness. 
Four of Pentacles. This person uh, held back from you, held back their passion for you. This person was unable to uh, give you the passion stick. Due to being held back financially or held back in, in another direction by something else. But there's they've they're closing out a cycle from the past and they're moving right into traveling in for you. The world card. What is this person wanting from my earth signs? Soulmates, you see? This person feels like you are their soulmate. You have telepathy and they're communicating with you on the 5D, soul connection, wanting partnership. You got a soul agreement, soul contract with this person. That's why you're unable to uh, detach from them. Healing heart. All right, so they want to heal. They want to heal for you, from with you. This could be a new connection that's coming in, but I think it's you guys are freeing yourself from toxicity uh, or some kind of re addiction or you're re leaving a relationship. Photograph, looking at your photos, feeling nostalgia, making new memories. So a lot of you, this is an older person that's coming back in uh, with uh, love language, love with love in their heart, wanting to date you. Uh, their love language may be very different from your love language. So that might have been the issue. You guys weren't understanding each other's love language, like what each of you needed out of one another. What's the outcome between them? What's the outcome? Oh my God. Love. Love. You're falling in love. This person's in love with you. They're taking immediate passionate action to come express themselves to you. They feel a magnetic connection here, but the defense, somebody was very defensive, making a judgment call to turn away. These are exact, the exact cards from the fire ceremony. Someone's making a judgment call to turn away from what happened in this connection, turn away from other options, turn away from coming at you, being so defensive with you, and to come com commit with you, Taurus. They're coming to commit. This person's hiding the fact they want to commit to you, or they have a lot of feelings for you and they value you. Yeah, they're dropping, they're dropping burdens. They're dropping responsibilities to come for you. All right, what does this person want to say that they're unable to say to my earth signs? This is my love me, love me not oracle deck. I know I hurt you badly. All right, so this person did some shit. You're sexy as hell. All right, let's sell it. What else? It was time for us to part in reverse. So they felt like they needed time to clear away some shit from their life before they could come towards you. I miss you. Please forgive me. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Oh my God. So they're in heavy regret of how they handled you. Wow. I'm sorry I walked away very regretful on how they handled this connection with you who, who could you be dealing with oh all right a whole lot aquarius capricorn capricorn was very head oh shit the same card capricorn was very heavy in in fire signs read so this is capricorn this is capricorn this is taurus virgo capricorn Aquarius, Sagittarius. I feel like I'm reading the same, same collective. Okay, well, hopefully you get two sides of the story, right? Let's see, some monology. I'll pick some initials for you guys. If anybody's interested in the my visionary movements mindfulness networking group, it launched last week. 
and it went over very well. I have slots available still. Uh, you could go to my website, rootsandrewards.com, under services and bookings and RSVP there. It's a weekly Zoom call with me and my Roots and Rewards community. Uh, we do, it's all about healing and getting to know yourself, know your triggers, learning how techniques on how to deal with, with you uh, instead of other people, but dealing with you and your traumas uh, and get yourself to a higher frequency. Uh, so I do meditation, healing music, affirmation cards, a little bit of tarot, and uh, yeah, we just sit and discuss and have a good time. So let me know if you're interested. Expect powerful change. Yep. With this new moon that came in, there's a shift in, in your energy and this person's energy. You have to know that you are good enough. The answers you need are coming. So you may have a twin flame that is coming in. Gemini energy, Virgo. Um, but you're getting your answers. You're getting to a conclusion with this person. It's concluding. A win-win outcome is on the forecast. Same card for fire signs came out. A win-win outcome is on the for is on the forecast. So things are, are becoming balanced and turning around for you guys. It's looking really, really good. Step out of your comfort zone. Do something you wouldn't normally do. And you may gain a lot from that. Okay. Some initials. Libra energy is heavy also. Let's see. You may be from Europe. Pee. You may have to pee right now. All right. Maybe some of you guys have a urinary tract infection. You can know this person for five years. You could have a, a, a child that's in, that's five in preschool or UK. You, you universal kindergarten i'm not sure uh you could work for, with emergency services and q you're a queen you have to understand that you're a queen emily pd that came out too in the first sign p n n name could be nancy or nina telling somebody no you may miss your nona uh, divine masculine. Okay, so this could be a divine masculine that's coming into you. Uh, G name, GP, GM. They could be a general manager. You could uh, work in uh, with EKGs or EEGs for a neurologist. PG. You may be taking the kids to a PG movie. You may be getting a message from this masculine shortly. Dawn Marie. E, there's triple E's here. You're going to be really excited when you hear from this person. Yeah, the X. The X is getting rid of an X. And coming in and saying, Are you interested in me? Or are you? Someone may be picking up a prescription or you need a prescription for something here. Maybe sick percentage. This person's coming in to give a better percentage. You may be suffering from migraine, uh, headaches. Uh, oh, somebody wants to marry you. Mrs. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. or Mrs. and Mrs. Whatever it is. Um, Dean. Dean. Doctor. You might have to go to the doctor. Doctor M. 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 Let's see what else. A-E. Oh, look at that. Yo. Be like, yo, what's up? How you doing? Three years, 36. The same thing. March 6th, June 3rd. This is Drea S. Oh, maybe getting a sonogram. There's storm brewing in the background. 
Dre, Drea, Drea. Oh, you got big dreams. You got big dreams. Something with styrofoam. S or Psy. S Y O M. Somo. Simo. May need an x ray. Non. Oh, you could be quitting smoking, non smoker. Let's see, eight years, August birth date. August 7th, July 8th, 78, 87. Homework. Okay, they got the same thing. HW. Could be in school. Um, hold on. Okay. Five years, 55. 65 R 3 R could be home right now that's that I don't want to stop this video again could be from Pennsylvania I am seeing things on my camera. Someone might call you honey. You're the honey bunny. Hey, honey bunny. Melissa. Somebody likes Armani. Someone likes to dress real nice. May birthday. That could be you. RP. PR. HR, you definitely have an X that's coming in. All right. All right, so what's going on with this person coming in? You got passion. Passion, I like you. I want to date you. I got love for you. I want you. You got romance blooming here. You're going to be fun flirting and dating and love, 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 coming in for your ass. So you're going to feel really loved up uh, in the next uh, week with uh, this person coming in. I think uh, you're tired of drowning in your emotions and constantly worrying about what other people are doing and how they feel for you. So you're really going towards your... Uh, your soulmate connections and your soul connections. You are not feeding into the toxicity. You don't want to be involved in being manipulated uh, or controlled by any individuals. You may be, you may be working on, because you guys Capricorns, you may be working on your controlling issues, right? Uh, earth signs, we could tend to be a little bit uh, domineering and controlling in our energy. So maybe releasing a little bit of control or understanding that your need to control situations can be hurting your relationships. It could be one of your toxic traits. So looking within self of why you have the need to control. I know I, I have the need to, I know I'm controlling. Um, I don't try to do it in a malicious way. It's just, you know, some of my programming from being fearful my whole life, never feeling secure and safe. Um, I feel like I need control of things in order to keep myself safe and the people that are around me safe. Uh, so uh, learning how to getting out of feeling bound with people. All right. And that's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the read. Hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. I do appreciate all likes, donations, and kind words you give me on a daily basis. And I'm live on TikTok every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time for your collective reads over on TikTok, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray, Roots and Rewards, Jesse. Meet me over there. Keep yourself in high regard. See you guys later. Bye.